put you here. Uh, Cassia, right next to me. Heinrich up here. Abelard, let's get you here. Argenta here. Uh, Pascal. Let's roll, boys. Uh, let's do backline. Me? Yes. If you insist, Lord Captain. Oh, do I ever. Give that to Tess. No. Give that to Tess. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Uh huh. I know. Isn't Trust this me. a job for the serfs? Usually, yeah, but uh, today. Right, I can do ignite. That's very exciting. Or, 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 or. Nothing I can't do. No yes! To hide. I know it's not a lot, but it's a good start. Also, not a pray. problem for me. Let's roll. Um, so this. Can you? This only affects enemies. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. <gasps> Girl, that was so good because that's not warp. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, this. This, right. We only use I'll that when it. we have to. Mm-hmm. Now. This. Let's go here. As the Emperor commands, I act. Girl, get it. Love it when we get to fight on my ship. I'll do it. Thank you. Okay, let's do this now. Yeah. Faith without deeds is worthless. And then we'll call that here. He coming in. Yes! Oh my gosh! Good. Not good that you hit him, but good that it will let he hit you. To it. Like that's not good. I don't want him to hit you, but Let's I do appreciate this. All right, now this though. If I move him here, this, right? I won't object to it. The Inquisition sends their regards. Okay, that was a really good, like the way he just said that line. Uh, this, aim for an opening. This, the assassin makes an enemy suffer. Okay. I probably should have done that it. first, but I'm still trying to be more efficient. I won't object to it. Mm -hmm. That was way better. Okay. Good. Now he's going to come in, but we got Heinrich's dog. Ah, good, Barry. Good, good, good. Okay. Pascal, let's do it. Unfortunately, I don't think Heinrich's going to get the benefit of this, but that will be fine. Now, this. Request approved. You want him, right? Like, you want to go for him? Oh. Wait, is your weapon AOE? Or not AOE rather, but you can like multi-target. So let's do. You missed? Oh my gosh, no, you didn't. That's so good. That's fudging incredible. All right, Tess. Oh, easy. Now. Already done. Piercing shot. If I. I don't think he has. Oh, no. Do it. YOLO. Okay. Girl, hit him. Suits my and hit purposes. the guy behind, too. Do a double. Almost. Almost, Tess. Like, I'm actually really happy with that. All right. Good dodge. No! <gasps> Wait, why is he gone mad? He's killing his own guys. I am confusion. I am very, 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 very confused. Um, Vanguard gains. Make an attack of opportunity. It will be done. Okay. 
Tried and tested Here. tactics are the best ones. Oh uh, no, he hasn't done this yet. I feel like that's okay though. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Indeed. Do we? Uh huh. <laughs> no matter the cost. Okay. Now. Victory yes. is implied. Took care of this Can one. Can we get one more? Do no. Can I do that? Reduce the dust. Can you... Are they all too far? Can you just not get to them? Wait, hold on. Can I put you, like, here? A tactically sound approach. Now can I, I get will here? do my duty. Ah! Yes! Okay. Good. Cassia, give this to... Test, test. Say boyfriend. Nothing I can't do. Almost. You almost saved him, girl. I'm proud of you. You did a good job of almost saving the man. I will Argenta. bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Oh, I know you will, girl. I know you will bathe it in righteous fury. Nobody ever in their right mind would doubt that. Uh, this. I'll do it. Eradicated. Oh, my goodness. As oh the emperor goodness. commands, I act. <laughs> That's insane. You are absolutely positively insane. Okay. Yes. Now we have momentum again. Um, okay, you can do... Hold on. Do that. Naturally. We go. Yes! Uh... I need a foothold. Okay, now. But of course, Lord Captain. Now. Poised. Is it poised to strike that I want? Yeah. I won't object to it. Let's do. So this would. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do Let's that. Let's see to it. Okay, I'm not going to use my men. Well, question. Is he too. He is too close. That stinks. I could use momentum, but it doesn't seem worth it right now. Good hit! Good dodge! Oh my gosh, I really like that ability. Activate calculated fury algorithm. Him. Oh my goodness. Hit him again! Flesh is weak, yet iron knows no pain. Okay. I probably should have done the stack first. Nope. And this. Good. Yes. Test, test. Suits my purposes. Does it though? I'll pass. Can you do this? Already done. Um. I am fear incarnate. All right, fear incarnate. Just make the murder. Thank you. Yes! Okay. My ears are How did you hit Abelard? Follow my lead. I'm very confused as to why you thought hitting my Seneschal was a good idea, as opposed it to will like be done. Heinrich who was right in front of you? Like honestly, like at I'm confused. Mm-hmm. Um Can you? Because there's nobody. The navigator is coming. There's nobody Isn't this left. A job for the serfs? Right? He's like literally the last guy. Me? Yes. If you insist, Lord Captain. So that way we can just do. Victory is imminent. Almost. Okay, Argenta. Rejoice in battle. Your might hit him, might not. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Requesting cessation of hostilities. Um. Pascal, what did you do to him? Pascal, confused reply comes from his box. Unable to fulfill request, the Omnisaya granted me an epiphany, and I muted the maimed machine spirit that was filling Tarsus's mind with fury. I do not fully understand the manner of my appeal to it. The situation perfectly mirrors the incident on Rakad Minoris, where I appealed to the machine spirit of a malfunctioning mechanism and laid it to rest. Um, 
I'm not tired at all. In fact, I can finish you off too, doer. I'm sorry you had to kill a comrade. I also regret I have negative assessment of this event. The Adeptus Mechanicus still accuses the unit identifying itself as Pascal Hanneman of criminal theft of a unique identification card. Unlike Tech Brother Tarsus, I am not authorized to immediately arrest execute the unit, but neither am I authorized to drop the inquiry. There are no apostates among us. The piercing voice from the Vox synth is more overwhelming than Tarsus's thunderous roar. Tech Brother Tarsus and the machine spirit that lived in his battle harness succumbed to the suffering that beset them. Their judgment was rash and erroneous. Now their torment is over. I declare them martyrs and requisitioning Tarsus Hanneman's neural augmentic for the purpose of preserving his blessed memory. As an astonished tech priest looks on, as astonished tech priest look on, Pascal leans over the slain man's body and extracts the augmentic from his skull. His movements are precise as they are respectful. Ah, uh, whatever you did, it's working. Maybe keep going. With each word, Pascal's voice grows more powerful and majestic. You saw the agony your tech brother Tarsus was in. His unbridled pain spurred faith and intimidated you, yet you were silent. Reverence stopped you from raising your voice to proclaim the machine spirit with which his mind had merged was morbidly afflicted. The imperative reverence had paralyzed your will and you watched a tragedy unfold in silence. The sixth universal law states that comprehension is the pa true path to knowledge. Yet the procedural cycle has robbed you of your comprehension. Therefore, let the cycle be discontinued. There is a clang of, as Opticon's knees pressed to the floor. Crimson hoods, hooded heads are bowed. Let the cycle be discontinued. Hold on. Comprehension is the true path to knowledge. Yet the procedural cycle has robbed you of your... Okay. Uh, the radiant light pouring out of Pascal's visor grows dimmer. Static creeps back into his voice. Let the cycle be discontinued, tech comrades. Pascal, um, can you explain what happened? Pascal's Vox synth crackles somewhat tentatively. I decided to sustain my words with an excerpt from one of the Blessed Amarnat sermons on loss of eternal and external function, verse 4. My analysis deemed it appropriate. What was the reason for the act of genuflection? It's been a long time since the words of the Messiah of discontinuing were last spoken openly over public communication bands. We respectfully welcome wisdom's return, so he is not forgotten after all. The Messiah of discontinuing, is that how you refer to Amarnat? Following the Ark Magos Amarnat's partial lassitation, removal from the chain of command, that was, auth that was the authorship attribution on a series of sermons on discontinuing the cycle that we were decimated across the Cognizance fleet. It was, in fact, a title used by many in times past. Did you do you know where Amarnat is now? In data unavailable, no reports have mentioned Ark Magos Amarnat since the incident on the Ark Mechanicus Hermetico, which led to the presumed destruction disappearance of the void ship. My archive has no data that the Hermetico incident, the vessel, was the blessed Amarnat's base of operations. Is it lost then? Pascal's voice is filled with anxiety. Uh, were you among his followers? Negative. I had no contact with the Ark Magos Amarnat. I was never a member of his flock disciple retinue. However, my analysis of the doctrine he outlined inspired in me deep respect for trust in him. I presume the... Oh, isn't his teachings heretical? The statement is false. Contrary to what many servants of the Omnissiah, though they knew, preferred to believe, the Fleet Supreme Conclave never formulated issue an official statement on that decision. 37% of the Supreme Conclave members openly supported Ark Magos Amanat. View and disappeared were removed from the chain of command under circumstances that were classified. The Supreme Conclave had not quorum ever. So somebody doesn't like what Amanat's teaching, despite the fact that what Amanat's teaching wasn't heretical at all. It's kind of what it sounds like, or at best dubious. But it sounds like somebody didn't want Amanat's teachings making it at all. So they made anybody who supported him all 37%. And just what disappear huh that's real there is so much more going on with the adeptus mechanicus than we know i presume the conflict between you and pascal has been resolved the data received provides a basis for calling the fallen tech brother tarsus's um, hypothesis into question out of respect for due to lack of authorization to indict following the followers of the messiah of discontinuing we will not proceed with the detainment arrest termination the Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. Thank you, Tech Brother Opticon 22. Uh, now that the conflict has resolved, you may remain aboard my ship. 
Yeah, let's keep them. Request denied. Oh! The Kappa Thread Supply Line Delegation is leaving Dargonis Express Gratitude for the Hospitality Ceasefire and proclaims its intent to return to footfall. Okay, to resume regular functions. Looks over at Pascal's if waiting for something. Pascal's mechadendrites briefly touch the shoulder of Opticon 22, who bows respectfully. What just happened? Like, overall, what just happened? I feel like, I feel like there was like a whole lot we just learned. Um, and, and it's kind of terrifying. Uh, at the same time, very interesting. And I feel like there's a whole heck of a lot. Oh, I remember this room, like through this door, I think down here. Yeah, is where we met Auntie for the first time. I feel like there's a whole heck of a lot more to our good friend, uh, Pascal, than meets the eye. Uh, oh. Wait, can I give that to Pascal? Is this how to get, like, a good weapon for him? Um, do do do. Where did you go? This. Omnisaya Axe. Nine. Oh, it's literally the exact same thing. I was hoping it'd be, like, an upgrade. Oh, well. Okay. So. All of this? Anything else? So, at least we got to keep Pascal and we didn't accidentally... I didn't collect this. I thought I did. At least we didn't accidentally turn him over to other people. So it seems like Act 2 so far has been like everybody trying to take my people from me. I'm not, I'm not thrilled with that. They're mine. You can't have them. Like, Tess has adopted these people. They're part of her ship now. First Adira, then, then Pascal. Who's next? Probably everybody. They're probably gonna take every try to take everybody from us. Tess can get into a lot of fights. I'm okay with that. Like honestly, girl seems nice sometimes, but she bloodthirsty when the when the need arises. So I feel like this will be good for her. You know? Okay, Lord Captain. Yes, hello, everybody. Excellent. Good. We're all here. Do you have anything to say? You have my complete attention. Yes. Yes, we do. We must take our leave. Okay, so let's go quickly talk to Pascal. Um, and then we shall... Is he over here? I think so. Yeah, and... No, maybe? Yes, and then... No, Abel's here. Where's Pascal? He's up here. Oh, I didn't know he moved around the ship. And then after that, we shall um, go to our planet because we have a planet, or another planet. Let's go to the bigger planet. My apologies. 19% of my processing power is engaged in the analysis of my tech comrade's memory. My response time may be longer than usual. Have you found anything out then? The data is scarce. His identification code is the same as mine, and his memory contains data confirming that the assassination did take place. Unfortunately, some of his memory was damaged by pulses broadcast by his battle harness. I can assert with some confidence that he was who he claimed to be, and that he served the Deus Mechanicus earnestly and eagerly. He gave off the impression, though, that he was paranoid. Notwithstanding his permanent state of agony, he was not cognitively dysfunctional. His desire to immediately destroy the object he had deemed profane was partly dictated by his engrammatic augmentics, which were receiving imperatives from his battle harness. In light of the oddness of our matching identification codes, I find merit in his hypothesis as to the existence of a clandestine malevolent agent or conspiracy operating inside our fraternity. Who do you think was behind the assassination then? No data available. I will hypothesize that the assassination was instigated by an enemy of the Blessed Amanat Doctrine. I accept the possibility that the assassins were targeting me only to be led astray by Tarsus and my own identical identifiers. I am concerned about the fate of Archmagus Amanat. According to Opticon 2.2, he went missing in the wake of the incident on an Arc Mechanicus, the Hermetico. 
Information about that ship and its perishing has been purged from the archives. I accept the possibility that the incident on the ship, the concealed data, and the assassination have all been part of a single conspiracy. Are you not surprised that the Amarnath's words had such an effect on Opticon 2 too? I was not knowledgeable as to how popular Blessed Amarnath's teaching was in exploratory circles. The Cognizant's fleet is massive. His ideas might have found a larger following on its periphery than in the Mother Squadron. Amarnath was a believer and he caused a schism. Tarsus was a believer and he turned into a zealot. Faith can be dangerous. Well, that's an interesting one. I kind of want to see where this goes. Of course, faith is dangerous. Faith is the prerogative of the spirit, and a spiritless mind is an enemy of all existence. Without faith, there is no meaning in anything, no point to any aspirations or limitations. But faith can take different forms. The form of prohibitions established by unknown elders, the form of an audacious violation of those prohibitions. The form of following dogma or of schism. The form of following the cycle or of discontinuing the cycle. In a system with two courses of action, schism is inevitable. And only one of these paths will be true, as truth is discreetly separate from untruth. This is actually a really interesting way that this went, like where Pascal took this. And I'm not like, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, almost a little. Um, faith is the prerogative of the spirit and a spiritless mind is an enemy of all existence. Without faith, there's no meaning, no point, but it can take on different forms. Like, it's really interesting how he's saying like, you have to have some kind of faith because that's what the spirit wants. And if you don't have it, then are you existing? And then he's talking about how though that can take different forms and whether or not it's a correct form or not is based on what? The truth? So only these paths will be true. Only one of these paths will be true as truth is discreetly separate from untruth. Like it's just really interesting the way he broke that down. I find Pascal to actually be a fascinating, fascinating character. He's so well written. Um, didn't Amarnath believe the elders to be in error? Only a fool would find no flaw in the creed, but true faith lies in not looking for flaws. My faith is more than a mere set of rules. It consists of ideals, which sometimes come into conflict with dogma. I have been given the gift of will to set the dogma straight. I prefer to believe in myself and my own ability to decide independently what is right. Faith is just the shackles of obedience. It's good for controlling my subordinates, but not good enough to control me. Um... Did Amarnath believe in the Elders to be an error? Amarnath did not reject any one specific prohibition, but found their cumulative effect to be oppressive. The system of rigid limitations had confined seekers of knowledge to a circular track, spelling doom for the thinking mind. And that cycle of repetition had to be broken. That was why he was dubbed the Messiah of Discontinuing. So, seeker, a circular track spelling doom for the thinking mind. Interesting. I actually like that. Uh, and the cycle of rep repetition had to be broken. That's why he was dubbed the Messiah of Discontinuing. I actually, though, for the response, I really like the I prefer to believe in myself and my own abilities to decide independently what is right, because that's been test this whole time. Comprehension is the true path to knowledge, and comprehension can only be attained individually, not taken for granted. Your path commands respect. Oh, he respects. Oh my goodness, this is this is. I think I think we have I think we have had a good moment with Pascal. Pascal's tone takes on a thought. Uh, voice takes on a thoughtful tone, and it's otherworldly might, Peter. Sorry, perhaps you'll be able to find out more in the end. I will continue my research into the Blessed Martyr's memory with all due reverence. Well, May your late I can't wait to see where Pascal's story goes. Like, after they tried to steal him from us, because I still think that they were trying to steal him from us. 
and everything like that. This, this that was really so well done. Like that whole quest start to finish made me very happy. Does anybody have anything to say about it? Lord Captain. No, I'm good. Lord Captain. I didn't know if you wanted to talk about the fact that we let the Adeptus Mechanicus on my ship and they tried to steal one of my companions right from out under my nose. Boy, it's time to go home, y'all. Not home. I mean, kind of, sort of home, but home home. <gasps> I have a palace. Y'all, it's literally called the Von Valencia's Palace. <laughs> it's literally my palace. What am I even supposed to do with that? Why is it so funny? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's leave Pascal. Well, mm. I kind of want Adira's side commentary on this. Um, so I was thinking about leaving Pascal, but he's so strong. Well, like, I, I wish I could take Adira too. I just don't know who I'd like, you know, like if I was the, um, strategist i'd easily just pull a cassia out but we'll see for now we'll keep it this way <gasps> look at it oh my goodness okay girl you get it where's my terrifying baby cherub thing i don't know but <gasps> somebody's scheming against us Greetings. Hello. Yes. Nice to see you all. Thank you. Look at her being so badass. Yo, my daughter is growing up. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cool. Look at her. Who is this? The Emperor protects. Welcome home, your ladyship. The stately woman in a long, full-dress uniform makes a graceful curtsy. Her short, graying hair does not obscure her stern features. I am Clementia Worsarian, court chancellor of the Von Valencius dynasty. On behalf of all of Dargonis, please accept my deepest condolences on the untimely passing of Theodora Von Valencius. Her departure is a terrible blow to us all. But as one star expires, another always flares to life. And although still overcome with bitterness and grief, your subjects hope that you will become the trade dynasty's guiding light in these trying times. Oh, oh, the courtly, um, like verbiage right here. This is like, definitely knows how to, how to talk. Like this is, that was impressive. Clementia, Abelard offers a reserved nod. She nods in return. The lines on her, on his soft brow, on his brow soften ever so slightly. The young man quickly brings a respirator to his burnt face and bows his head courteously. His raven black hair veils his burns and skull implants. His thin metal fingers creak quietly as they offer a welcoming gesture. Archelius uh, Scalander, secretary of the administratum department. I hope your journey to Dargonis was not darkened by unwanted troubles. Um... The emperor protected us on our journey. No, it was uneventful. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it, your ladyship. Does your ladyship wish to survey the grounds, or perhaps we could sate your curiosity by answering any questions you might have? Governor Urbend Drivestem has been notified of your arrival on Dargonis and will visit the palace shortly. The preparations for the official visit are well in hand, but your ladyship still has plenty of time before the meeting. What did you say your last name was? She nods politely. You heard correctly, your ladyship. I am of House Wersarian, Lord Abelard's granddaughter and direct descendant. The succession of service is an effective good. It grants new generations understanding of their function within the mechanism. Chancellor Wissarian has held her position at the Von Valencius court for many years. She earned Lord Captain Theodore's respect through acts of great perseverance. There's no room for doubt. Blood had nothing to do with it. Um. Easy, Abelard. I was just asking. Wanted to make sure I didn't step in it. He huffs with a faint <laughs> indifference. Why isn't the governor here with you to greet me? Apologies, your ladyship. Governor Drivestem's residence is on the other side of the world by the administra administrative palace of Dargonis. 
We sent word as soon as you entered the system, but it takes time to travel the great distance of your domain. Uh, Chancellor Orsarian appears unruffled, but you cannot shake the thought that the governor's lateness is a subtle political gesture designed to test the limits of what is acceptable when it comes to interacting with a new rogue trader. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what I'm seeing here is that my cha my uh, governor, is it, of this planet is once again another governor. Another governor trying to play games with Tess. Girl, you know what you gotta do. Uh, I'd like to rest before the meeting. They are very close, just down the hall. That is also where the study and the audience chamber are. Achilles' face brightens with a pearly white smile, restoring some of his former good looks. Lady Theodora's study has remained locked since her last departure, but on account of your arrival, we've arranged for it to be tidied up. It's ready whenever you may need it. You are dismissed. I apologize for my bluntness, but I have a request to make. Perhaps before the meeting takes place, the illustrious Lord Captain could spare a few minutes for conversation with me. He bows his head. I'm certain you'll find my report on the state of affairs in the Von Valencius Protectorate most useful. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see where this goes. I'm by myself. Uh, am I? What? Okay. Everybody's gone. Oh my goodness, it's like we're on the ship-ish? Yeah, everybody's just here. The walls of your home suffocate me, Ellen Talk. I long to leave this twisted world at the first opportunity. Okay, good to know. 